You all have probably been to a swimming pool or at the beach, so you must have seen people doing nonsense things in there. Yes, there's a company. Some of those things can be really dangerous. Today we are going to run four different experiments to see if playing around in the pool can be any harmful. For example, can you break your legs if you jump onto a newspaper from a high platform? Or can you jump on a donut without any consequences? We will check that with a kettlebell. And I'm also wondering if I'm going to be able to catch a heavy kettlebell underwater. How fast is it going to drown after being thrown off 10 meters? I'm sure you can learn something useful from this episode. Watch until the end. The results were really unpredictable. All dives and tricks are performed by trained professionals. Don't try this at home or somewhere else. Hey, what's up, water crew? Welcome to Water Magic. Although this channel is being run by pro divers, we cannot know everything about the things which fall from 10 meters. So today we are going to run four experiments to get answers for some common questions, which you can actually face at the beach or in the swimming pool. The results were really surprising, so this video can actually save someone's life someday. And yes, the idea of catching the kettlebell under the water was really stupid. The only thing which I am asking you right now is to watch until the end. Did I really catch the heavy kettlebell which was falling from 10 meters? Let's fly! Now let's go over a quick physics. 101 material. The kettlebell on land weighs 16 kilos. All those who would think it weighs nothing underwater are wrong. It still weighs around 12 kilos. Thanks to Archimedes, we know that the weight of the subject underwater will be decreased by the mass of water that can fit into the volume of this subject. But how fast is it going to drown though? And I bet you all think that the kettlebell is going to ruin the bottom of the pool. However, it's a special kind of weight. It is made out of a Kevlar, which makes it much softer than the regular ones. And this is the thing which I've actually told the pool's director. No, God, please, no! But still, it is really heavy. Last time when we were doing an experiment with those kettlebells to measure the flight time, check that video, by the way, Alex told me that it is impossible to catch it underwater. So, challenge accepted! The ultimate goal is to catch it from 10 meters, but I think we should start at 1 meter just to see what it is all about. By the way, we connected the way to the mattress, so it is easier to get it out of the water. Guys, if this thing hits my head, I will probably not be able to film for the channel anymore. Anyways, let's see what happens on one meter board. Good thing it didn't hit me. I saw it coming towards me, but it felt like I was frozen. I just panicked and couldn't move to catch the weight. The depth is 6 meters and the acceleration was really fast. I don't know how am I supposed to catch it from higher platforms, but maybe it will be easier from 3 meters. Let's try. Before we go up on 3 meters, let's run an exciting experiment. My friend Dmitry came to the pool one day to film a video blog and jumped onto a donut with a bottom. He expected the water to soften the landing, which did not happen. He told me that it was really painful, so now this container is going to be a small bolt. I'm going to throw the kettlebell onto it from the tower to see what happens. I expect the water is going to absorb the heat at least a little bit. The aiming is quite hard, I have to say. Please disregard the first attempt. Try number two. One, two, three. As you can see, the container didn't go underwater with the kettlebell at all. Instead, the weight crushed it immediately. This means if anyone tries to jump onto a donut or a boat from a platform, he is going to get injured, broken legs or something like that. Just look at that poor plastic thing. Okay, I was not able to catch the kettlebell underwater from one meter, but we have not so much time for filming, so we have to go up. Maybe I can do a better job here. Perhaps the water can slow down the weight a bit more from that high. The task scares me so much, so I just want to get done with it. Oh. 
this is 3 meters. You cannot imagine how terrifying it is to watch the weight approaching you underwater. I don't know how to force myself to catch it. You may call me a pussycat, but it is really horrible. May sound illogical, but I suggest we go up to 5 meters. Before my friends bring the kettlebell to 5 meters, I want to show you my favorite experiment. There is a myth that you can break your legs jumping onto a newspaper in the water. Not to waste the pool, we are going to use a plastic wrap. Is the kettlebell going to stay on it? Or it is going to go underwater immediately? I am staying in the water to adjust the plastic and my friend is going to go up to 10 meters to throw the weight down. If you were to break your legs by jumping into this wrap, then the kettlebell would have to stay on it after the fall. However, it dipped underwater like there was no plastic wrap at all. It is a rather popular opinion that a newspaper on the water equals concrete. But look at the slow mo Everything started to drown immediately. Anyways, guys, you should never try to do it yourself. A newspaper or a plastic wrap. Do not experiment with your own health. But anyway, do you want a video with a real newspaper? The mask I'm wearing is bothering me a lot. It gets filled up with the water once I raise my head up, so I can't see anything. It was all blurry from 3 meters. How am I supposed to see anything on 5 meters? It is a really dangerous height. This time I actually went for it but still missed the weight. I only came close enough to get to the rope. Guys, the speed the kettlebell is drowning with is crazy. Plus my nose and eyes are getting filled with water because of the mask. I got so mad that I couldn't catch it that I decided to practice getting it from the pool deck. The first try was failed. Why is this so hard? The second try was not successful either. I only got it on the third try. I don't know what am I going to do now, but we already agreed that I will try to catch it from 10 meters. Hope the highest platform can make the difference uh, and not kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Before you see what happened to me under the 10 meters platform, let's look at what happens to this mattress. We once tried to jump at these mattresses from different platforms, and that was really tough. But now we are going to throw the weight on it from the highest platform. You think the float is going to blow up, or the weight is going to bounce off the float, or the weight and the float are going to drown together? What was that about? I didn't have enough time to get out of the way. That is likely the most dangerous thing that ever happened to me at the pool. First to the experiment. The mattress didn't blow up and didn't really drown. Here you can definitely break your legs if you jump on it. Now to the most epic thing. The kettlebell was thrown too early while I was not expecting it. So it actually touched my leg. We knew that the mattress is going to slow the way down. But I still got shocked after it hit me. That is a lot of stress in the episode, but the toughest thing is next. By the way, we have some materials about jumping on a mattress. Comment below if you would like to see that. Now it's time to catch the weight under 10 meters platform. To estimate where I should place myself, we threw a volleyball of the platform. Looks like everything is ready now. I am terrified to death. My mask keeps letting the water go inside, which makes it almost impossible to see anything. The weight is flying with a speed of 51 km per hour. My vision got so blurry that I chickened out at the very last moment. Is it really going to be impossible to catch the kettlebell because of the mask? It fills up with so much water that I cannot keep my eyes open. Wait a second, I just remembered something. I think I have a pair of googles with me. I bet it's going to work much better. Now I have only a deal with the water which gets in my nose. Anyhow, I'm going to catch that weight this time. My nerves are stained so much that I feel nauseous. Ready or not, here it comes. 10 meters of high and 6 meters of depth. 51 kilometers per hour of speed. I have to make sure I keep my head away from the kettlebell at all costs. I cannot believe it! That was definitely the scariest underwater experience. It has been a while since I was so emotional. Bye, Mom! 
The kettlebell is so heavy and it flew so fast, but I was able to catch it. How cool is that? So what do you think, what a crew? For those who think that it was fake, go to my Instagram account and see one short video which proves that everything was absolutely true. Don't forget to subscribe, cheer us with some likes and uh, better watch some other videos and don't do some crazy stuff. We will do it instead of you. Take care.